Hello everybody, it's been quite a long time since I have last posted a video and uh, since many of you have asked me before why did I stop posting videos including on YouTube messages, uh, code for CDMs and even on Discord I want to actually explain all of the reasons why I didn't post videos in a special video and the reason why I'm actually posting this special video is because on 18th of October, like on this Sunday, or as you will be watching the video, it will be like today for you, since I recorded it before. I'm co-authoring a quote for this round with my dear friends, Flavio and Alex. And uh, the reasons were actually multiple. Firstly, the first reason which made me actually take a break was the fact that I had exams over the summer, like national exams, and I had to prepare for them. But uh, as some of you may know, I still did some videos from time to time, so that wasn't like the only reason I had to take a break. The other reasons were actually more personal rather than just being forced by a circumstance. And uh, there are like two main reasons for not posting videos. Firstly, I felt like I want to take a break from competitive programming because I've been doing this for quite a few years without many breaks. Well, in this period from like October 2019 to May or something, I actually did competitive programming, but uh, I was pr practicing for the Olympiad and I was also doing grants from other accounts like us. And in this period, I wasn't uh, outside of the competitive programming. It just happened that I didn't really feel like doing CF. And Obviously, I wanted to take a break from contests, solving problems, and so on. And this implies that I wouldn't be able to post videos. And that's what I actually did. Now, another reason was uh, the fact that I wanted to learn new things, which are not uh, part of the competitive programming. And uh, these also took me some time, like uh, back on those uh, days in summer and even now sometimes, I'd rather feel like uh, approaching these new things rather than just, I don't know, solving problems or participating to rounds. And by the way, uh, even though I will actually come back to posting YouTube videos, it will be slightly different compared to the previous period when I posted videos. Like, as you guys remember, I was posting videos after every round I could participate. And in that video, I was explaining the solution to one or two problems, which were like the most interesting for my audience, my intended audience. And since uh, I am a freshman in the university, I uh, don't really have uh, time to do most of the rounds now anymore. I will try as much as possible to do the weekend rounds and uh, post videos on those problems. And if I can't get any round to do, I will choose uh, one of the most interesting problems from that week and post a video editorial for that task. Now. As I said earlier in the video, I am co-authoring uh, a course for CISRAM. And I would also like to talk about the experience of being a code for CIS author. So the process of uh, being a code for CIS author starts uh, a long time before you can even think of having the round scheduled. Because as maybe the more experienced watchers know, there is actually a big queue in the proposing uh, section. Like many people are actually posting problems and there are like few coordinators looking at the problem. Thus, we actually proposed our contest in like 
August 2019, so over a year ago. And we only got uh, a coordinator assigned in like April or May, I'm not too sure, but we had to wait for a long time to actually do it, to actually get our coordinator. And as the announcement says, we got Anton Trigu as coordinator. You probably, you guys already know things about him, but in short, he is a really great competitive programmer and an even greater mathematician. Like he got gold at IMO. And that says a lot about his skills. And these qualities actually showed up in the coordinating process as well. Even though, as you know, his style of coordinating is a style which requires more, let's say, quality when it comes to problems. Like he easily rejects problems for many reasons, including problems not being interesting, classical, too unknown, or simply just because that style doesn't fit the round or something. But even though this style is kind of rough, tough for the authors, I really believe uh, it was a great experience and uh, it helped us push us to come up with more and more interesting tasks. And after we managed to actually get uh, five tasks done, which took us quite a long time, as you know, we started uh, with the other part of creating the round, like preparing the round, which had to be done on Polygon, and uh, also getting the testers. And in order to get the testers, we had to let Anton post uh, our round in a testing server, and uh, in that server, testers showed up. And as you can see, we try to have testers of all of the skills, starting from the, one of the very best programmers and uh, ending with uh, more new by contestants, like less experienced contestants, which were like specialists according to the announcement. So we try to care about everyone. And uh, now, since uh, I said that I'm going to post the video on Sunday, even though I recorded before, I hope that uh, your results are going to be the ones you are expecting to have. And I invite you to watch the other video editorials I'm going to also post today. Thank you for watching, and as always, good luck and have fun.